I just got my job a little bit ago at the meetup and it's gonna be um, feathering out some paint. They removed some blast doors behind the house. So I'm gonna feather out some paint on it and just like smooth it all up, clean it up, put some primer over it. That way it doesn't rust. I'll give you the story about it later, but it, we just gotta clean it up until they put the doors back on at another time, so. Okay, let's get into coffee break and I'll explain to you guys what these door openings are used to be or supposed to be. So there used to be these like sp specific blast doors that were in place of these holes, right? The ship is currently being converted into an LNG ship instead of the traditional diesel ship, uh, diesel fuel ship. The sister ship of this ship is currently in the shipyard finalizing its LNG conversion. So you might have seen those big green tanks in the video. Those are LNG fuel tanks. LNG stands for liquefied natural gas, I believe. Just a more fuel efficient, we'll say earth friendly fuel source but highly flammable. So these doors, these blast doors, are a requirement on the back of the house since basically the fuel tanks are back there. Well, this ship has another like two years before it's fully converted and the other sister ship is being finalized now, like I said. So they needed the blast doors. Unlike us, we don't need the blast doors right now. So the company decided to take these doors off this ship and put them on the other ship. Well, that left us with these like jagged metal edged openings where these doors used to be. So what was my job? What is my job currently in the video right now? It's feathering out all these sharp edges and all the little, you know, rust spots that are starting to form up already and priming and painting. But this job is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. And I actually don't end up finishing the last two doors until the very end of my overtime. So I don't ever get to priming it. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Coffee break is over.
The rest of my day is just gonna be the four hours of evening watch on the bridge. And there's not much to show you with that because it's just me standing lookout in the dark. This day, this four hours of overtime for Monday was just four hours straight of wire wheeling and grinding typical deck maintenance day. Now, I also realized that on Friday's video, I, I think I said on Friday's video that Friday was like one of the only days that I have four hours straight, eight to noon of overtime. And I realized that's not actually the case. Mondays and Tuesdays are typically four hours straight as well, eight to noon. There are occasional times where if Sunday in Anchorage, if we like undock, really late because we usually undock Sundays around 1730 1800 but there has been times where we get out of there really late like 2100 2200 and in a case like that where I'm working those late hours I might get knocked off by 10 a.m. on a Monday or you know for some odd reason but average most days Fridays Mondays and Tuesdays are at 8 to noon four hours straight of overtime so hit that subscribe button like comment share and I really hope you enjoyed the video I'm out